Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti Rajani, working as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we will see how to load the bank statement manually in the application and how to make the reconciliation of it. We will move to our application to see how to load the manual bank statement in the application. So this is the data that I have as a bank statement. Now we will see how to create the bank statement lines in the application manually. So move to our application to see how it works. Here in the application, go to Navigator. Then go, go to Cash Management Workbench. Then select the bank statement and reconciliation. Click on task list. Here you can see the option create bank statement. Click on it. For which bank you are loading the bank statement, select here. Select the period start date here and the end date. Now here you can see that we have to give the opening balance and the closing balance. So our opening balance is 5000 and our closing balance is 6615. Go to statement lines. Here you have to mention the statement ID. You can see here the created icon is got activated. Now click on it. Select the date here. Here you have to mention the transaction code. Give the flow indicator here, whether it is debit or credit. Click on create another. Again, select the date. Click on create another. Select the interest uh, income as credit flow indicator. Now this 1000 is for interest expense. So select the flow indicator as debit. Select the transaction code for receipt. Select the flow indicator as credit. Give the amount.
Now click on OK. Click on Save and Close. Now from the option Manage Bank Statement, you can see the statement lines that we have created now. This is how we created the bank statement manually. You can see the information filled by us can be seen here. These are the opening balances and closing balances. And these are the statement lines. In the left side, you can see the depo deposits. And in the right side, you can see the payments. You can see the status here as unreconciled. Now I will create the transaction against these bank statement lines. Click on done. I have created the two payments and two receipts. Now I will go to navigator. Go to cash management workbench. Go to task list here. Now click on manual reconciliation in the reconciliation workbench. I give the account name. Give the date range here. Now click on search. You can see here the bank statement lines that we have created can be seen here. And I have created two receipts and two payments against these lines. You can see 210, 2190, 2190, then 1095, 1095. These are the receipts that is 2000 and 4200. You can see here. Now, you can see the interest expense and the income here. When we get the bank statement, then only we can uh, know what are, the, what are the interest charges that are charged by the bank and what are the income and fees. So for these lines, we have to create the external cash transaction. So how we will create the external cash transaction? Go to navigator again. Click on bank statement and reconciliation. Click on task list. Here you can see external cash transaction. Click on create transaction. Click on bank account. We have interest income of 500. Date is uh, 6 October. Now here you have to give the offset account for accounting transaction purpose. Search from here. Select the interest income account and click on OK. Now click on save and close. Now again create the transaction for interest expense. Select the bank here. Here you can see it is not asking for the 
flow indicator so you have to give the minus sign this is the expense so we will give the minus sign with the amount again you have to give the offset account for the interest expense Select the interest expense account and then click on OK. Click on save and create another. There was also fee charges in the bank statement line. So we have to create the external transaction for that also. Fee is also expense, so we will give the minus sign with the amount. Search for the fee expense. I'm taking taking it as other fees. Now click on OK and click on save and close. Again, go to task list and from reconciliation, go to manual reconciliation. Give the bank account name here. Click on search. Now here you can see the statement lines that is bank statement lines and here you can see the system transactions. Now you can match the bank statement lines with the transaction amount. 0.95 now i have matched all the bank statement line with the system transaction now click on reconcile tab This is how we process with the manual reconciliation. Now click on done. Now we'll go to manage bank statement option. Here open the statement that created by us. Here you can see the reconciliation status as complete. Now click on done. So the reconciliation status has come as completed. That means there is no amount pending for reconciliation. This is how we can perform the manual reconciliation in the application. Thank you so much for watching the video.